You're welcome to my channel, Mindset Academy, where we want to draw development of the giving view that is displayed at the left hand side of the screen. So what we are going to do first of all is to reproduce that view you see first before we can be able to work to develop it. Is that okay? So let's start. First of all, you draw your vertical line and second of all you draw your horizontal line can you see that now the entire height this point you see here is my point a and let me zoom it up so we have a clearer view of what we're talking about and the entire length here is 96 so hi i'm going to measure 96 on this point here from 0 and this is 96 Can you see that? Then the entire height is given to be what? 100. So from here, I'm still going to measure 100 And what will I do? I will now connect this point this point here with end line first Can you see that? And the next one is giving us 55. So I'll measure 55 upward this way from 0 to 55. Right? This one is 55 here. So I can now take in the rest. So what I actually need is this from this point, take in this. From this point, close it up. From this point, get to this point, and from this point, get to this point. Can you see that? Now we've drawn that other figure. So we are not done, and this is another point A here. And I'll get the center of that figure. So what I'll just do simply is get the center of 96. So you can easily just um, bisect it, or half of 96 will give us um, 40, 48. So half of 96 is 48, so you don't get half of it here this way. From 0 to this is 48 here. So you mean that from this point, let me get it first. You know, if I am on point, yeah, I'm on point. That's the center point there. So that way I'll draw my center line in this manner. Long short long short long short long so having drawn that, that oblique view the next thing is for we to draw semicircle at the baseline here so you place it at this point and you draw your semicircle So once you've done that, you can easily bring this downward faint line. They are all faint lines, right? So with that measurement, you use to draw your semicircle. You place it here. You shake a knock. You also shake a knock here. And you place it here. You shake a knock. And you place it here. You shake another arc, right? So you draw your line to go to that point. This, 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 and this. Can you see that? So, this is our seam. A, A means this is where we are cutting it through. So, meaning that here will not be 0, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and what? 6. So if the seam is here, here will be 0, 1, 2, 3, just that way. Then after that, 
we will now start from this point to one i'll project my line then to two i'll do the same thing then to three i'll do the same thing right hope you are seeing that i should still move it this way too move it more then to four i have this then to five i have this right so let me still take it up then to six I have this so here will be six here will be six five four three two one then zero we start projecting all this point from here so now you will now project all this part here all this to touch this with your faint line And uh, what else again? This is what we have here. So, I can also do the same thing here too. I don't really have to stop myself with that. Let me just project it up. Not really much trouble there. Can you see that? So since they're all at the same point, just draw a straight line. Don't need to stretch yourself. So if this is six, this will be six prime. All right? This will be five, this will be five prime, four prime, six prime. Okay, I've not done the other last one, which is this. So this will be five prime, four prime, three prime, two prime, one prime. Then we have our zero here. So we can start doing what we know how to do best. So we draw development here. So to develop this, you will now draw your line. Any given line of your choice, you can draw your horizontal line this way. Can you see that? So once you've done that, the top here will be your point what? Point A. Right? And when you're taking that top at the point A, then the next thing you have to do is to take the longest distance there, which will be from zero from A to six. Can you see that? from a to six then this is where we're opening it from so this is what we have from a to what to six this is my point six here can you see that now we'll now start doing what we want to do best so if this is a to a to what to six so we want to move from a to a where they're opening it from because it's the opening point so this will be at the ending so I will now take my demarcation from this point to this point to when I place it at 6 to get 5 in both sides because it's symmetrical I will 
cut the side here and I also cut the side here so any point on this line is my number five so what will I do I will move from one to five all together can you see what do you notice they are both the same thing here so sometimes you're not really necessary to do this so from here I'll mark five here I'll mark five here can you see that so once I've done that that is my point five I'll come again the same measurement from here to here I'll come to five I'll shake an arc here also come here I'll shake another arc here so with distance from here 2.5 I'll place it here at A I'll mark and I'll mark distance from here 2.5 I'll go to point 0.4 since I've gotten 5 so it should be 4 so this is 4 here so I'll place it here I'll mark this is where 4 will eat this is where 4 will eat so this is my point 0.4 here point 0.4 0.4 so I need to remove this away instantly to 4 and 4 so we do it just like that and I'm going to join from this point to A from this point to A from this point a on this point to A. Can you see that? Now the next one is from that same point again. I place it at four. I'll strike another arc. I place it at four. I'll strike another arc. In order to get three. Can you see the point of three? From A to 3, from A to 3. This is my point 3 here. So to get 2, take the same measurement. I place it at 3. I'll check another arc. Place it at 3 here. I'll check another arc. So to get 2 now, take it to 2. I'll come here, cut this, also come here, cut this, and this is 2, also 2. I'll come here again, from here to here, I'll come to 2 to get 1, like an arc here, and I'll come to 2 here also, like another arc here. So from 2 to 1, come from 2 here to 1, to 1. So this point here you see, my point 1, this point here you see, my point 1. Right? And to get the last one of the list, which is 0, where they cut it from, from here. Shake an arc from here, shake another arc. So from here to zero, I'll come here, I'll cut it at this point here. So then just complete this. So this point here is my point zero, which is also my point A. My point zero is also my point A. So I'll just Join those points straight ahead. Now we'll need our French curve. 
and join all this together so let's see how that goes so from six to five and four to this and to this then similarly here also Can you see that? And we're not done yet. The next thing is this one you see here. So to get your one prime, two prime, and so on and so forth, if I come to here, I'll get my eight prime. So I'll come here, mark on my line of zero here and here. So that will give me my eight prime and my eight prime. And the next one is from this point to this point. I'll come here and mark one here one here that's my one prime from here i'll come here two to two and i'll mark two here two here come from here i'll move to three and i'll mark three here three here i'll come here i'll move to four and i'll mark four here Oh, here come here i move to five and i'll mark five here five here then on six which is what we have here come around here so i'll just take my french curve or this is your french curve and you can just join from this point that point which will make you now close your up and also close your up so this is the development of it all together this is what we have when you develop this so if you uh, found this video helpful please avoid to like subscribe and also share the video